Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey with Warm Audio. Welcome to the Zigo Dome here in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. We're here tonight with Depeche Mode on their Global Spirit Tour. Come inside and see how the front of house and monitors team are using some of the latest Warm Audio gear. So we've come inside the legend that is the Zigo Dome and I'm talking with Anthony King, who is front of house for Depeche Mode on the Global Spirit Tour. Absolutely. Hello, James. How are you? Great to see you. Thanks for inviting us along to this amazing venue. And we're mid getting, so if there's any kind of bangs and clunks and stuff like so that, probably, please excuse that. Probably will be, yeah. They're still loading in. But you're looking, actually, you're coming to this whole kind of live sound front of house gig with a very old school approach. There's a lot of proper outboard hardware back here. We'll cut into various bits going on down here as well. But Absolutely. It's a lot more fun, isn't it? There's a it's lot more going so on. so much more fun. Why would, you know, buttons, buttons are why we got into this business. I guess I'm a bit older. I like, I like, I came up on analog and I liked, I like all these things. And I think there's a, there's definitely an improvement. You know, a $29 piece of software cannot replicate that, this thing, you know, it's not quite there yet, I don't think. And I, it's more fun. I, and I'm lucky I, you know, I have all this stuff that I can use. So why not? You know? So let's have a quick look at what you're using. Just take us through your, your warm rack of loveliness. Let's go through the WA76s first. I'm using the, this one on Dave's vocal, this one on Martin's, and this one on the other Martin vocal. Yep. He, has a, um, he plays guitar and then comes obviously downstage to play guitar. And then there's another mic, which is upstage behind his keyboard position. Cool. So I use both of these on him. Uh, Dave obviously is in the middle by himself, he has one yep. microphone. The backup is uh, hard patched between the two, which is, happens that end if anything made to go wrong, but right. it, so far touch wood it hasn't, so yep. we're all good. Um, I use these two on the bass together, cool. which is fantastic. This thing is just, you know, one notch and it just gets Let's start huge. the fight now. Um, just compression, then EQ, fat. or EQ, then compression? Oh. <laughs> I, I go EQ, then compression, because yep. I like to fire some, you know, the, the, you're, you're trying to compress the output. Yep. What I comes out, is the, yep. that's the end. The compressor is the, the end of the line. And you're using it Otherwise, in compression mode rather than in limiting mode, so? Yeah, limiting mode is great, but I think for, for drums, I like limiting mode. Mm -hmm. I'm using this on the bass, so I think compressor is a little smoother for, for instruments like that. But for the snare, if you want it to whack, just stick it on limit and it all works. Awesome. It's fantastic. Very cool. And then the last uh, WA2A is on Pete's vocal, who sings, who's the uh, other keyboard player who's mm -hmm. obviously been here quite a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's more than 20 years in the band and sings a lot of the harmonies when Martin's doing his solo, uh, solo songs by himself. And uh, also when everybody's up there as well, he sings a lot of backing vocals. But it's really nice that you're not trying to reproduce everything in plugins. You've got, say, the SSL. Um, live console, and you've got all those emulations. I mean, they're all, they're in, all there. in there. That's, I mean, they're, they're more than adequate. The SSL stuff they're, they're, has all the Duende plugins in there, which, yeah, again, are very, very good. But there's something about. But there's just something about the feeling of a button. And you know, in the tours this long, we've been out. We're going to be out here for a year and six months, you know, a year and a half. It's nice to have these things to, you know, I like to touch buttons and play with things. You know, this is. This and you're part not of the then, fun of mixing. You know, you're not setting your ways for what you're. If you want to reach out and tweak the bass or tweak the vocal or... That's the thing, and you'll see tonight, I'm playing with it all night. You know, you can keep moving with the show. You don't have to go, what page did I put that plug-in on, you know? <laughs> you're just scrolling, scrolling down, going, ah. Oh. You're flying the plane, you know, you're not just autopilot. How do the guys feel about bringing some extra racks of gear around, or is it just a case of, oh, I'd like another one now, and it fits in the truck? It, as long as it fits in the truck, no one argues, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So if I, if I, if I overstay, yeah, if I go over the truck count, then, then it's out, but yeah. No, and they and they like it. Obviously, you know, Martin and they will have studios, and they're into it. they're in their gear. You know, they like gear anyway, so they're they you know, they're excited to see interesting things out here. So moving down to what I'm going to refer to, kind of as your effects rack, I'm guessing. The yeah, the uh, the the analog side because we have the digital side and the analog side. But which we is how we we wire them up for convenience. Vox boxes are they your primary kind of vo vocal processing or? Are they were originally because that's why I put them there because I used to touch them. But then when I we found the warm audio stuff. I just went that way. I just moved over because it was they're just as good. And I didn't I didn't usually really use the EQ that much mm -hmm. anyway. So, so I just thought, I'm just gonna do the warm audio stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. Now the two things I'm actually most intrigued about are the TC D2 
effects and and the legendary Rev 7. The legendary Rev 7. Now I'm presumably Absolutely. this is because you need to recreate the sound of the albums yeah. from you know early 90s. I mean you're going live. from 1983 until 2017 when the latest album was released. So you need that scope of things but yeah in 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 the mid 80s they yeah they used the Rev 7 on the snare. So I rolled one out and it's fantastic. It hasn't broken yet. And it's that, you know, and it's filthy, you know, you listen to it and you're like, oh, that's disgusting, you know? But it sounds... But that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if you try to recreate, I think they'd try and clean it up. Hmm. And that's not the no, just make it that just nasty and dirty reverb. But once you put it in context, it's amazing. It just explodes. So we've got the Rev 7 on drums. What's the D2 doing? The D2 is on Dave's vocal. It does all of Dave's vocal effects. Right. Mostly it does a fast slap, mm -hmm. which he uses a lot in the studio. Um, just thickens his voice, which, I mean, it's thick enough anyway, but it's nice, you know, you know big building, you need a big, you get a big sound as well. Yeah, yeah, so that's what, yeah. And then there's a couple of occasions where it, it's MIDI triggered off the board, mm -hmm. so it'll change for the end of a song where there'll be this, like a big repeat. Cool, so you're actually, you're doing the automation, if you like, from the board. Yeah, the, board, cool. the board triggers the MIDI-able equipment in the, in the rack. Very yeah, for cool. For each scene and, and the end of the song, you trigger it again and it'll change the, change the program. So you're recording the show as well? Every night we record, yeah, multi-track. Into Pro Tools or into? Magic Sequoia. Wow, okay. I know, yeah, I love it. It's a German, and fine, fine German engineering. But yeah, presumably um, you, you basically get to the start of the show, you press record and at the end of the show you press stop and it, it's yes. all there and backed up and. Yeah, I mean, there's two machines. We have a main and a backup, which are these, well, there's three though, but mm -hmm. yeah, main and backup. Run the two together off of a KVM switch here. Yeah. And um, yeah, everything records every night. We have a MADI card. All the, R all the MADI cards are RME. Mm -hmm. HDSPE effects, the one, the, the, triple, the triple card. Oh, non-degree. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the triple card, which has also has an RME MADI router in the back of this rack, which splits the signal from, there's only one, we have one feed from the console, which mm -hmm. splits into two machines. Yeah. Uh, but thank, touch wood, it's never crashed. And in, you're... Uh, in my entire time, I've used Sequoia the last 10 years nearly. It's never crashed. And you're running virtual sound checks, aren't you? The band, there is no sound check. There's no sound. The band, they don't sound check. If they, if they change a song, they'll come and rehearse, but mm -hmm. they will never sound check. So it's all virtual sound check from the console. Yeah. Um, so you flip, using flip that into a virtual mode and. And it's all playback from Sequoia? Playback off Sequoia. Fantastic. Yeah. Use the same machine to record as to playback. Very, very cool. Which is great. And it's, you know, rock solid. So you join us up on stage, and I'm with Sam Thorogood, who is the monitor engineer for Depeche Mode Global Spirit tour and we're in your little world of loveliness yeah but my once office. again we find some good old-fashioned analog gear well it's um yeah i could have kept everything um in the realms of the console but um i found with the with the warm audios it's it's more of the character that they add and it's the only apart from a couple of reverbs that are around the back mm -hmm. it's the only analog yeah you know, it's the only externals and you're using it on so, um Dave's, Dave, Dave's main vocal. Dave, main vocal. That's it. Yeah. So are you primarily these days? Is it primarily in ears on stage, or are you have you got it's side fills and both, wedges and both? It's everything. I mean, it's it's um, we have a situation where Dave can take out his ears and he'll just go back to a stage mm -hmm. of wedges, um, pretty much for everyone apart from the drummer. Right. Um, so drummers in ears. Um, Keyboards in ears. The only guy who's not in in ears is Fletcher. Right. Yeah. And he likes it loud, presumably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's yeah. It's it's not a quiet stage, but it's it's not ridiculous. You know, it's got it's it's got a lot of. Well, it's we were just talking. Feel. Just mm. talking to your system tech, and he said, "There's getting on for or there's well over half a million watts of front of house juice. Yeah. So you've got to yeah. combat that to a certain extent to make people feel like then it's." the sound they've got locally rather than they're here in the front house. Yeah, um, yeah, there has to be a certain amount of weight from the stage. It's only been uh, the last two tours that Dave has um, been on in the years. Right. So, um, has, it been, has it been much of a transition or? Yeah, as in, um, I mean, uh, there's a consistency now he's, he has, which uh, was not really as achievable when you're just dealing with wedges. Yeah. So, uh, so how do you, with the fact that there is no actual band sound check, it's all virtual sound check, presumably now you've got, a, you've got used to what people are expecting to hear in their ears and mm -hmm. what they're used to hearing in their monitors. Mm. That, and that's just through doing it for... Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we pretty much do one sound check at the beginning of a tour and then we roll. Um, not so much on the fly, but, you know, if we were having to do a lot more things on the fly, we would start doing sound checks, but um, we seem to roll pretty much all right, with, you know, without it. And you're, say, three nights into the winter, the winter leg, winter stint. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. all is going well so far? No good. major tweaks or anything needs no, to be changed? No, 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 we're rolling well. Dave's in good form, Ben's in good form. Yeah. Fantastic good. stuff. Thank mm. you very much, sir. Thank you very much for your Okay, time. no problem. Anthony, thank you so much. Um, We've dived in just before the virtual sound check, as opposed yep. to the, the... We're about the, to wander around and see what it sounds like in here. Yep, um, it sounds pretty good from where we've been so far, so thank you so much for um, having us, inviting us out here. So my name's James Ivey with Warm Audio, and we'll see you again very soon.